Here's some dinosaur eggs, all sitting in a row. What dinos are inside? Does anyone know? How many eggs do you see? Can you try and count with me? One dino egg, two dino eggs, three dino eggs, four dino eggs, five dino eggs, six dino eggs. Is it just me? Or did egg number one shake? It did! I think it's going to break. The dino inside is about to hatch, I think. Hello! Who's just fallen out of the crack? A baby Ineosaurus has landed on her back. Look! Here comes her mummy, ready to help. A nudge, a shove, and baby lands with a yelp. The next egg that's moving is green. Will the dino be kind or very mean? Something's popped out that I don't like. It looks to me like a very sharp spike. Ah, this baby dino wouldn't even hurt an ant. Stegosaurus is more interested in eating a plant. Mummy's here for little baby's very first meal. If you'd just hatched, think how hungry you'd feel. She bites, she pulls, she heaves and gives her baby some nice green leaves. This blue egg is the same colour as the sky. Baby Brontosaurus couldn't wait to say hi. With one last push, she breaks out of her shell. Mummy comes over and gives her a smell. It's a new world and baby Bronto just wants to play. After all, it's her very special dino birthday. This yellow egg is about to hatch. I think this dino might be tricky to catch. There's one baby Velociraptor and there's another. This baby dino has a sister and a brother. This lot have pointy teeth and strong jaws. Stay away from their long, sharp claws. Here comes Dad, carrying some fresh meat. The babies gobble up their first carnivorous treat. This orange iguanodon has already been born. She's still very sleepy. Just look at her yawn. Mummy's here to wake her with a lick. A little help from Mum and that should do the trick. Well done, baby. You finally found your feet. Mummy is so happy now that the family's complete. This purple egg is making a very cute roar. Uh-oh, I don't think it's cute anymore. This T-Rex baby is in a terrible mood. He's looking for Dad and looking for food. Tyrannosaurus Dad is naughty to the very core. He eats lots of meat because he's a carnivore. Go near a T-Rex if you dare. They'll chase you here and chase you there. Look at all those new babies having so much fun. Look at them dancing. Watch them run. Being a baby dino is so fun and cool. What a good question! Hello there, Mr T. Would you be kind enough to help us answer our question, please? You would? Fantastic! How will we find out why all the dinosaurs disappeared? Mr T! What are you doing? We're going back in time? Wow, this is fun! How cute! Look, all the gentle plant-eating dinosaurs! But who are these? 
Oh no! Those are meat-eating dinosaurs. Quick! Herbivores! Run for your lives! Yikes! Phew! Well done, Mr. T. What's that in the distance? Watch out, Mr. T. That's an asteroid, and it's heading straight for Earth. Oh no! Oh no, what a mess. The asteroid has made such a mess that it's even covered up the sun. And look now, Mr. T. Now the sun's all covered up. The plants can't grow. And because the plants can't survive, neither can the dinosaurs who eat them. Oh no, is this really what you think happened to the dinosaurs, Mr. T? Of course, now the meat eaters have eaten all the herbivores. There's nothing left for the meat eaters to eat. I think I see now, Mr. T. But as time went by, the dust cleared, the plants grew back, and new life sprung up all over the earth. Why do bees sting? What a good question! Let's follow this bee and find out. Hello there, Mrs. Bee. You do seem like you're a very busy bee indeed. Do you think you could find time to answer our question? You could? Fantastic! What is it that you're quite so busily up to? You're busy collecting special ingredients. Ingredients from the flowers. I see. But ingredients for what? I know, honey. Ah, you're collecting ingredients for making honey. Is that right? Oh boy, I love honey. Runny honey in my tummy. Hmm, Mrs B, that bear isn't hiding very well, is he? What do you think he's looking for? Mrs B, I really must know, why do you sometimes sting? Because it actually really, really hurts. What? It hurts you too? It hurts you when you sting? What? You die when you sting? Oh, Mrs. B, how sad. But then why, oh why, especially if you die, would you sting someone? If they made you angry or scared? You sting when you're angry or scared. What kind of things would make you angry or scared then, Mrs. B? Ah, the bear getting close to your home. You're scared that the bear will eat all your honey. What? Do bears eat the honey and the babies too? And that makes you angry, doesn't it? Well, no wonder. If the bear did that, you'd not only have no honey to eat, you'd have no bees to grow up and help you make it either, would you, Mrs. B? Looks like that bear won't be back anytime soon. Whoa, sorry, I was going a bit too fast. Are you okay? I'm Pip and I didn't want to be late. Uh, yep, I'm fine, sorry about that. 
Puffer fish puff up like that whenever we're surprised or scared. I'm Spike. It's my first day. Your first day? How exciting! Come with me, I'll show you the way. Ruby! Pip! Hi, Hi Finn. Finn! This is Spike. He's new. Hi, I'm Ruby. I'm a seahorse. Welcome to Sea School. Good morning, Sea Schoolers, and a special welcome to our newest adventurer, Spike. How are you all today? Ready to learn? I hope so, because today is the day of the Super Shell Hunt. What's the Super Shell Hunt, Mr Finn? Is it a race? Well, each team must try to find four special shells. Only four? That's easy. <laughs> Not so fast, Ruby. These are no ordinary shells. You must find four special super shells. Each shell is a different colour. A red shell. A blue shell. A green shell. A yellow shell. A red shell. A blue shell. A green shell. And a yellow shell. Easy peasy. The first Sea School team back here with all four different coloured shells will win the Super Shell Hunt Trophy. I've got to win that trophy. It's so beautiful. Does everybody understand? Yes, yes Mr. Finn. Finn. All righty then. On your marks, get set. Go, Sea Schoolers, go! Should we all work together? That sounds great. No thanks, I don't need any help. I can win that trophy on my own. Ah! Ah, shells, but which one is red? This one, a red shell. I really want to win the trophy. More shells. I need a blue shell. Can you see a blue shell? Yes, this one. I am one step closer to the prize. You got it! Well done, Pip! Thanks, Spike. We make a good team. I hope Ruby's OK on her own. Maybe we should go and find her to see if she needs any help. I knew I'd find some more shells here. Is one of these a green shell? Yes, this is the green shell. That trophy will be mine. Hooray! Hmm, I wonder if there are any shells here. I have a red shell, a blue shell and a green shell. But I still need a yellow shell. Is there a yellow shell? Oh no, what am I going to do? Maybe there's some behind this coral. <laughs> My bag's stuck and I can't lift it by myself. Hello, Ruby. What's wrong? I'm sad because my bag's stuck and I can't find a yellow shell. Now I won't win the beautiful trophy. Don't worry, Ruby. We can help you. Let's just use teamwork. Thank you so much for helping me. I have my bag, but I still don't have a yellow shell. Cheer up, Ruby. You can't always win everything. Hey, what's that? Wow! That rainbow is so beautiful. Look, all of the colours we've been searching for. Come on, Ruby. We can help you find the yellow shell. It's all right. I feel better now. Ta 
Caterpillar! Caterpillar! How very weird! She was by that green leaf. Now she's just disappeared. But how can this be when she's not left my sight? And where did that come from? That shape there that's white. And now it's just moved and there's colours inside. It must be a monster. And those are its eyes. Wait, hang on a minute. That's not a monster, but wings in the sky. Of an orange and red coloured butterfly. My caterpillar was here all along. She was just changing into a flut, flut, fluttering butterfly. Wow! Oh, poor, poor flamingo. I've lost you, I think. Can anyone find him? His colour is pink. No, no. He is pink. That's not my blue bird. What? Flamingos change colour? Don't be so absurd. They can't simply change their colour or hue. They can't simply change from pink into blue. Well, that must be the strangest thing I've ever seen. That once blue flamingo has now turned quite green. What a shock. So it was my flamingo all along. He'd just changed to the colour of his food. I think we need to feed him some nice pink shrimp so he can change back to pink again, don't you? Ah, that's better. Hello, Green Roo. Are you having fun playing with your friends? I've lost my Roo. Has anyone seen? He jumps very high and his colour is green. He was hopping right here with his friends. Now he's gone. What? He jumped in the pouch of a mummy? Which one? Did he jump in the blue one? No. The yellow one? No. Or red? No. The white one? No. The green one? No. Oh, look. There's his head. Hooray, there he is. In the mummy who's grey. Hello there, friendly crocodile. May we inspect your perfect smile and count your teeth. One, two, three. Ooh. No, no, dear croc. We're not your tea. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, did I just see him twitch again? I thought I did. I think you're right. But surely, friendly crocs don't bite. They do, you say? Well, let's be sure. We'll only count another four. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh, Crocky. You really are extremely mean. What are you up to, Mr. Bear? Climbing all the way up there. Aha! You're after something sweet. 
A sticky, runny, honey treat. Uh-oh. Here comes one angry bee. With two more friends. That's one, two, three. Another two just left the hive. Watch out, dear bear, because now there's one, two, three, four, five. You must stop now before you're stung. Too late. Ouch! That must have hurt your bum. Hello there, Mr Scratchy Cat. Does it really itch as much as that? It does, you say? Well, let us see. Ah, no wonder, Cat, you've got a flea. Did you see it move just then? I'm sure it's going to hop again. There it goes. One, two, and three. How many hops do you think they'll be? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, look, it's going to hop again. There's only one thing left to do wash it out with flea shampoo. <laughs> 